Hello guys, what's up? As we know now, there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube talking about the Vision 2. Even the developers make some videos about it since, uh, I don't know, maybe November last year. In this video, I'm going to talk about the big changes we as a players, as an agent, will have to face and adapt in the upcoming Division 2. But first, let's start introducing the big changes introduced by the developer themselves for the past few months. 1. Talking about how the new maps feel, where players will experience a different kind of atmosphere which is totally different from what we have experienced in the Division 1. Now in the Division 2, we have a variety of places which differ from each other. Each places can give a different kind of scenery and gameplay experiences for players. Which by the way is a good update we can have since Division 1. Now, we definitely can say goodbye to a dark and snow covered street. Where everywhere we go, everything seems the same. Outside the dark zone and even inside the dark zone itself. Well, maybe because New York just happened to be like that, I guess, but now, no more. In the Division 2, we're gonna have three separate diseases, where one will always gonna be like the root DZ, the old time DZ when we first played the game in Division 1. Places with no law, no normalization, friendly fire is enable, checkpoint threat is off, basically, and obviously, players who decide to go in there are looking for blood, not to farm. And the other two diseases are normalized, friendly fire is off, and checkpoint threat is there to help those who in need. 2. The end game is finally here guys in the Division 2. The developers finally able to give us some things to do even when we have reached a level cap, even when the campaign is wrapped. Which, by the way, I'm pretty sure it's already sound a lot more better from what we have in Division 1 already, even if it's just a promise, and I hope this promise will come true. 3. How the time to kill is shorter now in Division 2. Compared to what we have in Division 1, the mobs are quite strong. Players have to take many shots in order to kill just one enemy, even sometimes end up emptying the whole clip or magazine just for that. Not to mention if you decided to go rogue, killing other players will take a pretty decent amount of mags, and the time to kill is like, well, you can imagine right? 4. Three specialization for all players to try. Players will be grant a new signature weaponry according to what specialization they choose after their hit level max. One being the survivalist specialization which will give players a crossbow as a signature weaponry. Two, demolitionist specialization which will give a players a grenade launcher as a signature weaponry. Three, which is the last one as for now, is Sharpshooter Specialization which will give a, a player a 50 caliber sniper rifle. All and each specialization has a unique progression path that allows players to create more variety with the build they have via equipping modes and unlocking their weapon talents. Hey. We also have minor changes like white rope system, new bunch of skills introduced, a bunch of mobs, factions, the Division 2 conflict which are skirmish and domination, lastly, the clan and raid. So what are the big changes that need to be adapted in Division 2? Okay, first let's talk about the most trending or hot topic people are arguing in the most of the Division 2 posting out there, which are face tanking. Are players able to face tank in the Division 2 anymore? Are uh, one hit headshot kill a thing now in the Division 2? Is Division 2 gonna be like Ghost Recon Wildland or PUBG where players are easily get killed? A shorter time to kill will make the game fun to play. All this uneasiness actually root from how the build system now works in Division 2 as opposed to Division 1 where diversity of the build as we know now in Division 2 are not fully yet discovered. As what we have been led to see now in Division 2, we have been introduced to the brand sets, which works pretty much like the classified set we have now in Division 1. For example, like by equipping a number of gear set of the same brand, will give you a certain number of bonus attribute of the brand set. Yeah, not much different from the we have in Division 1, right? Second, 
how the web point talents works in division two also a little bit different from what we have in division one in division one we have up to three weapon talents according to the rarity of the weapon and we have been allowed to change one talent to any talent present in the talent pool but now in division two those three weapon talent slot are divided to three type all category of weapon talent one is active talents two is handling talents three is hosted talents and each talent type have their own talent pool meaning if you decide to change a talent uh, let's say in handling talent slot the second slot to another talent in this case i want it to change to active talent slot which is the first slot we just cannot do that the system won't allow that since the talent pool only give us the option of changing to a different talent to a different handling talent category or type anyway you can learn more about the weapon talent system in division 2 which i will provide in the link at the description below third which is last one main stats are no longer play a major role in division 2 these main stats are by arm which affect our dps stamina which affect our health and electronic which affect our skill power which by the way what makes the division the division players play around with these main stats to get their desired build that suit to their play style players can it be really tanky really squishy but have a high firepower that can destroy other players like no-brainer or even can play a support role which focuses only on the skills so now the question are first are these main set are what causing the division 2 diversity on being able to have high survivability high firepower and high skill power are no longer achievable Uh, these changes will mean all players will be equally strong equally tanky and equally and he have equal amount of skill power or are this why the developer introduced specialization and new skills to fill the gap of not having main stat anymore since they are not able to balance it even after three years of experimenting the concept So what you guys think? Can you adapt to all these changes? Let me know in the comment section below.